I remember when I was a little girl, I grew up in an environment where expectations were very, very high. I always felt like if an expectation wasn't met, that it equated to me being a failure, that somehow I was not good enough. And it led to me feeling insecure and inadequate. It took a long time for me to really unpack that and to understand the power of expectations. And that expectations aren't these things that are meant to be demands we place on other people. An expectation is a way of putting some framework around a vision, some substance around a vision. So when you think of your business or you think of your life, you think of the way that you want to be um, a friend or a parent or a team member or a boss, you begin to create some expectations around the vision that you're having for that role or that project or the thing you want to um, move forward. Expectations are directly proportionate to the actions that you are willing to take. And I think expectations can be set kindly and generously and graciously and in community. They are a lot like boundaries that you set for what it is that you want to do. So let me give you an example. Um, I have a, a dear friend in my network. They are struggling with a lot of health issues and it reminds me of how important it is for me to take care of my health. I have an expectation of myself being strong and being healthy and being able to connect and being able to live a well um, balanced life in my body physically, emotionally, psychologically. So I have some expectations around that that I need to clarify and set clearly for myself. But those expectations have to be correlated to the actions I'm willing to take. The expectation of you know, building muscle and losing weight through nutrition and exercise is great, but my action of eating donuts for breakfast and not understanding that physical movement is empowering and necessary for my body is misplaced. So I will never meet my expectation because I will never be able to take the action. I wanna give you another example. Sometimes Sometimes when you set an expectation, you put so much pressure on yourself that it becomes almost unrealistic for you to meet that expectation. We get bogged down and we get fearful. Um, recently, well, about two years ago, I was invited to do a public speaking event here locally. And I showed up and I was very well prepared. My team was with me. We knew exactly what we needed to do. We had rehearsed, we had practiced. It was all good to go. And then I got on stage toward the end of the day. It was a day long seminar. I was one of the last keynotes that they invited to speak. And I just bombed it. And I knew it the entire time I was up there. Nothing worked. The light didn't work. I couldn't see my screen. I couldn't see my next slide. My heel got stuck in the stage and I almost fell. I couldn't see my audience. I was disconnected and every single expectation I set for myself, I completely destroyed every opportunity to meet that expectation. I left that event, felt like I needed to just crawl into a fetal position and I was ready to do what I've done as a little girl, what I learned, that when you don't meet the expectation, you are a failure. But just because of how my calendar was lining up, and a lot of grace in my life. The next thing I needed to do was jump in the car and go to a girls weekend for a girlfriend of mine's birthday. And that entire weekend I was surrounded by people I love, people who love me, celebrating somebody we love. And I had the opportunity to think through what happened and recognizing that while I was prepared and while my expectations were not misplaced, there were a few things that I hadn't accounted for, obvious things. And these were the two things I didn't account for. I didn't eat, I didn't drink water, I only drank caffeine. That entire day leading up to my presentation. So when I stepped into my role of presenter, I completely 
lost my path and my way. I was unable to focus. I was unable to connect. I couldn't meet the expectation because my actions didn't match the expectation I set. That didn't make me a failure, but it did allow me to be really mindful and prepared in more details and more ways than I thought I needed to be next time. What I'm trying to tell you is that when your expectations are not met, you are not a failure. Surround yourself with people who love you, who understand you, uh, whether these are friends or colleagues, who understand that things happen and go again. I think the power of going again, of matching actions to the expectation, of having expectations be the form around your vision, I think those are the, the simple things that you can do to feel more engaged with the work that you're doing, feel more engaged with the thing that you're aiming for. Thanks for listening. I'm so grateful that I get to do this. We haven't done videos for a minute because of this very conversation. Feeling like I'm not able to meet the expectations, setting super unrealistic expectations that I cannot have the actions meet the expectation. And so we've created a 30-day plan. I'm holding it in my hand and we're going to tape every single day and put content out and connect with you. So expect it to be there and expect it to be authentic and to be real in the moment and to be exactly what this company and myself and my team want to do to connect with you.